when you put yourself out there and start doing whatever that thing is that you are passionate about and you start doing it publicly, you are going to suck. You are going to suck and that's okay. How is it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sean Barnes. I want to welcome you back to The Way of the Wolf. I am in beautiful Galveston, Texas right now. Found a little sweet spot with some beach and some rocks and some waves. I came down here to spend a little bit of time with my brother. As I was setting up the tripod, I had no clue what I was going to record content on. And once I opened up the tripod and looked out into the water, it hit me. Fear is a mile wide, but it's only an inch deep. And as I think back in my life of all the things that I could have accomplished had I not let fear rule me, the fear of judgment, the fear of failure, who cares? When you put yourself out there and start doing whatever that thing is that you are passionate about and you start doing it publicly, you are going to suck. You are going to suck and that's okay. We all have to start somewhere. And if you think about the race of life, some people start up here, some people start back here. And if you start back here, that sucks. But what can you do about it? You can't do a damn thing about it. You play the hand that you were dealt and you start moving forward. I spent most of my professional career in information technology. It just came easy to me, banging away on the keyboard, didn't have to talk to people, didn't have to make eye contact with people. It was my comfort zone. I was good at it. I was really good at it. And I had accomplished really what I set out to accomplish. Ultimately ended up being in a vice president of IT role at a publicly traded oil and gas company. But I had this feeling that I was meant for more. And many of you know, I started leading human resources and that took some convincing with the senior leadership of the organization of why the IT guy should be leading human resources. And it took some convincing with the team. But whenever I first stepped into that role, probably about the first month, maybe six weeks in, the, the excitement had started to wane and then reality set in. And that reality was that whenever it came to IT, my confidence was up here through the roof. I thought I was God's gift to technology. I was the smartest in the room. Whenever it came to human resources, I was not the smartest in the room. And my confidence was immediately shot down. I went from being up here to way down there. It was not fun. It pushed me beyond belief. Because I'd gone from the man in the high castle to now being just the bottom of the barrel in terms of my knowledge whenever it comes to employment law, payroll processes, benefits, all things related to human resources. And I had to ask myself, how was I so confident over here, but now I'm ashamed and embarrassed? And it hit me. I had spent decades building skills in this domain. I was going to have to spend years building skills in this new domain to build up my confidence. And it was scary. 
I thought, what have I done? But I worked through it, and that moment changed the entire trajectory of my life. As time went on, I started to become increasingly proficient at building and leading teams. I started to develop a passion around building and developing people. And they, the company that I was working for let me step in and start leading safety and transportation and ESG and the project management office and all these other areas. And each time I stepped into a new domain, I was able to pick up and learn and grow even faster because I had started developing skills around stepping in to a new domain and learning and growing and building everybody else up around me. Now, I'm not trying to downplay fear because I've lived it. I understand how challenging it is, but I've also come to realize that you're not gonna die. You might feel a little bit of shame and embarrassment, but you are your own worst critic whenever it comes to that. You are going to beat yourself up more than anybody else will. Because I'm gonna let you in on a dirty little secret, nobody else cares. They are all focused on their life, their family, their dog. They don't care about what you're doing. So if you have something that just ignites that fire in your soul, don't let fear stop you from doing it. Yes, you're probably gonna have to set up and build some sort of a plan of action, but hi, we have to do that in all aspects of life anyways. So why not chase that thing? And you will find the more you chase it, the better you get at it, the easier it will become for you. We're all here for a reason. We have to figure that out for ourselves. But what I don't want is for fear to stop any of you from accomplishing the things that you know you are meant to accomplish in life. One last tip that I'm gonna leave you with. Surround yourself with excellence. Find good people that want to push you, that want to stretch you and force you to level up and do everything you can to be around those people. Think about who they are in your life. Think about the last time you walked away from a conversation and just felt lit up. Now, spend more time with those people. And when it comes to auditing your circle, also think about the people that drag you down and create distance from those people. We are the sum of those we spend the most time around. So audit your circle, be intentional about who you are spending your time with, and start to level 